This chord sequence is the same. Wow. <coughs> yeah, boy. Ah! Hi, Snakeys. It's me, Fifi, and I'm back. I'm back again today with another Billy reaction for you guys. Billy are here. We now have the full comeback. We did the pre release, and oh my goodness gracious me, it was a 10 out of 10. Okay, I actually haven't listened to it again. I've been waiting so that when I do the album first listen, which I will be doing, but that will be over on Patreon. Um, if you want to watch that, all you have to do is join the Ball Python tier. It's the first tier, it's the cheapest tier. That's where all the K pop content is album first listens, shows, whatever, live performances. Um, but yeah, so what is. Oh, wait, hold on. So in Korea, the, it's in Hangul. Hold on, hold on. He, you know what? Let me not. Let me not. Um, I do have the English. Memory Candy? Is that the correct English title? I saw it somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure if that's the correct like English title for the title track. Uh, someone let me know. Um, anyway, that's what will be in the title of my video, so maybe I'll have to Google and double check before I post this. Anyway, uh, Memory Candy is the title track in MV, and then the EP is called Appendix of All We Have Lost. I swear to God, they have the best song titles and the best album titles. Like, when it comes to K-pop, there's just so much stuff. I'm just, I'm just fucking yapping now. There's so much like albums and songs and EPs and group names. You run out of ideas eventually, surely. Um, but with Billy, they do. And it's not like try hard. Does that make sense? It's not like try hard. They're just really cool. Anyway, super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer, I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. Okay guys, let's go. Billy, ki, ki, satang, satang, I think that, this is satang. Something is sweet, or is it? So I'll guess the translation is correct. Anyway, Kyo Sata. MB. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing in case This also has jazz influences in, like trampoline. Delicious. Dum, dum, dum. That guitar that just came in. Oh, that melody. It's a lengthy chorus. Wow. 
Ross in the back. That. Do, do, do. I literally just saying about the quality of their music, man. That electric guitar. Oh, the musicality of their songs are just something else for K-pop, truly. Guys, please ignore my tortoise moving around in the back. Um, so I really enjoyed the song. And interestingly enough, I don't tend to like, not that I don't like them, but Billy's title tracks tend to be my least favourite on the album, right? Because they're quite different from their B-sides. Um, so, where was I going with this? Okay, so usually I feel like I don't really like their title tracks that much. I enjoy them, but they're never the songs that I go and listen to. However, and I really enjoyed this. Like, it was my vibe, my sound. There were elements I really, really liked. That pretty chorus was stunning. Like, I loved... Sorry guys, my nose. I've got allergies. Um, that pre-chorus was stunning. I loved how empty it was. Um, and there was, it was empty, but yet again, there were so many different little sounds and layers, like the percussion. So many little, just little sounds. I was trying so hard to make out what it was that I was hearing and I couldn't. Melodies all throughout fantastic. Rap verse during the second verse, her delivery and flow matched the song really well. Um, I feel like songs like this, don't really need rap verses. And I feel like sometimes when they're thrown into songs like this, it can kind of ruin the song a little bit because it seems forced. But the way this was done, it was just done so, 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 so well. It was like melodic rapping and the way she played around with the flow, it just worked really, really well for me. And the bridge was stunning as well. Really, really nice melodies again. Instrumentation, fantastic. Um, it, it definitely did have jazz influences in there as well. It was giving me a little bit of like Latin jazz, boss Hanover, a tiny bit. Um, especially with like the piano and the chord sequences and just the beat um, but what I was saying is it didn't feel like a title track um, so even though I don't usually vibe with their title tracks in terms of I'm not gonna put it on and listen to it a lot I don't but I find them very fun and in terms of like an MV I feel like the title tracks match mixed with the choreo and the visuals in the MV, it works for me anyway, and it's like fun. Whereas this, it did feel, whilst I loved the song, it felt a little bit boring in that sense, where it didn't have that wow factor, that wow element. It didn't feel like a title track, if that makes sense. If I'm honest, if I'm honest, this felt more like a pre-release than Trampoline did. Do you know what I mean? Like, I kind of just wish they put more budget and effort into the trampoline MV, even though I love the actual MV. I thought it was really cool, but they could have added some extra elements in there, made that the title track, and this could have been the pre-release, maybe, possibly. Um, I love the song. I'm gonna listen to the song a lot. I just felt like it was a little bit boring for a title track for me, even though I don't always vibe with their title tracks. I still expect to be a little bit more entertained, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm curious to know your thoughts in the comments. I'm going to head on over to listen to the album. And yeah, for this video, please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it. 
subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you have subscribed i love you i love you gonna follow me instagram gonna follow me on twitter gonna follow me on tiktok goodbye